In the video today, we're going over how to take a screenshot and how to print on the Samsung Galaxy A26. Let's get into it. So the easiest way to do this is holding down on the power and the volume down button, just like this. One, two, three, hold, let it go. You'll see a flash on the screen. If you tap on the little image, it will take you right to the options to be able to edit it using their gallery app. Now, I don't really like that in terms of the editing, so I'm gonna show you one more time a different way to do it. Power, volume down, press, let it go. Tap on the crop button at the bottom here, and you can just crop it right on screen. Now with this, I can drag from the corners, and I can crop the area that I want the screenshot to focus on. I can also write on the screen if I want to with one of these little pins here. I can erase that later like this. And when I'm all done, I can share it out using this button here, or simply hit the drop down arrow here to save it in my gallery. Now let's swipe up, go to the gallery, and that's where your picture is gonna be saved. It's gonna create a folder called screenshots, and you'll see all the screenshots taken right there. Now, this was the picture that we cropped down. Let's say I wanna print this picture or any other picture in my gallery. All I have to do is first, Make sure I'm connected to Wi-Fi. So my Wi-Fi is turned on and I see my Wi-Fi icon in the upper right corner so I know I'm connected. So that's the first thing. The second thing is make sure you have a wireless printer that is connected to your network. If you don't have a wireless printer and you need one because you would like to print from your phone, I'll link one on screen right here. I'm gonna tap on the share button. I'm gonna tap on the three dots in the upper right corner and go down to print. And at the top here, you can go to select a printer or tap on this drop down arrow to the right. And I have two printers that are on my network right now. One is a Canon and one is an Epson. I'm gonna tap on the Epson. I'm a big fan of Epson printers because they're very simple to set up and I've had the best experience in terms of just using them with mobile phones. I'm currently using the Epson XP4200, but any printer in their, for, their XP series should work just fine. I'm gonna tap on the print button here, press okay, and it will need to uh, install a little bit more software. And then after that, it's gonna send it right to my printer and print out my picture. So that's how you print your screenshot or any picture on the phone. Now, I also wanna show you how to print a from an email and print from a website. So let's go over that next. I'm gonna open up the Gmail app here and let's pull up an email and I wanna show you the same process. Google, Gmail. Now let's say I wanna print uh, this picture from the Google Play Store. I'm gonna to go to the upper right corner, tap on the three dots, come down to print. You'll see that same button and the printer that I previously selected should automatically populate at the top. If not, you know how to get to it using that drop down. You can also tap on this drop down arrow here to access some additional options. For example, if you want to make more than one copy, you can do that here. You can change from color, black and white. You can also change the orientation. So you have a lot of extra options you can access with the printer. And this one is ready to go. I'll just tap on that little button to send it to the printer. Now, the last thing I wanna show you how to do is printing from a website. All right, so we're on Amazon's website here, and let's just say I want to print out this keyboard or this uh, Fire Max 11 that also has a keyboard, whatever. I wanna print this page because I wanna show it to someone. Go to the upper right corner, tap on these three dots. You will not see a print button in this menu. But if you tap on share, which is one extra step, you'll then see a print button right here. And that's how easy it is to print from a web page. We'll tap on print and it'll bring us to the same menu. And here, one thing I want you to pay attention to is it'll always show you how many pages it's about to print. Here it says one of 12. And you might go through here and say, I don't wanna print all these pages, this is too many. So you can always uncheck a page by just tapping on the, the check in the bottom right corner. And you can do that, or you can hit the drop down and under the select range, you can just change this. 
and say, hey, I just want to print the first page. No problem. Now it'll only print that first page. You'll then tap on the print button right here and it will send it off to the printer. If you got value out of this video, make sure you bump that like button down below. Here I'm gonna to link to my playlist. I have more videos on the A26. So check that out if you wanna to continue to learn all the cool things you can do with this phone. And check out this video right here. This is another really helpful one. Thanks again for watching guys. Take care and as always, have a good one.